The new CAT M-Series small wheelers are packed with features to make your work easy. Let's have a look at some of those new features together. Come on in. Now welcome to the best seat on your job site. Let's go ahead and get comfortable, starting with safety. With the M-Series small wheel loaders, we're gonna bring seat belt notification to the operators as standard. If you put the machine in gear and you have forgotten to buckle your belt, you're gonna get an indication on the dash with an icon as well as an audible beep beep as a reminder to go ahead and buckle up. Now once we're buckled, tilt, and telescoping steering column is standard in the M-Series small wheeler, as is seat mounted controls, which move up and down with you, the operator, fully adjustable so that a wide range of operators can get comfortable in this class leading operator environment. Now, for those of you working in extreme cold climates on those frosty mornings, you're really gonna appreciate the standard heated mirrors as well as heated rear glass. We're also going to bring automatic temperature control. Set it and forget it. It will make heat, it will make air conditioning, whatever it needs to meet that target temperature. Now as an option, you can choose a fully heated and cooled seat suspension to keep you comfortable all day long. Now for those of you working on tight job sites, you're really going to enjoy the new mirrors in the M-Series small wheel loaders, which are adjustable from the headliner electrically and feature a lower parabolic section, which allows you to see right where those rear tires kiss the ground. So if you're hugging a trench, or if you're loading the machine on a trailer, you know exactly where the tires are on this machine. As standard, you're gonna have internal mirrors, which allow you to see the rear counterweight corners. And with our single piece panoramic front windshield, you're gonna be able to see the business end of this machine as well, so you can safely navigate those tight job sites. Now we're gonna bring information at a glance to you in our new primary display, which features a much larger LCD screen, bringing you an indication of forward and reverse, as well as speed range. We're also gonna bring icons to the display as features are enabled, such as differential locking axles, perfect parallelism and fork mode, park brake. We're also gonna bring fluid levels, diesel exhaust fluid, as well as diesel. We're also going to have an indication of your coolant temperature and your hydraulic temperature right here at a glance. Now the seat mounted controls are going to bring lift, lower, rack, and dump, as well as directional shifts, forward, neutral, reverse, as well as auxiliary flow control, and differential locking axles, all right here to your fingertips to make your work easy. And finally, the secondary display, which works in combination with the soft touch buttons to turn features on or off and allows you to customize your experience to meet your application needs or any of your individual operator preferences. Now, my personal favorite button in this entire cab is the help button, which will tell you what each feature does in any one of 22 different languages. So if you forget, the answer is just two button pushes away. Now the soft touch buttons allow you the operator to enable or disable features. Now a subtle but important thing, some of the soft touch buttons have got white lines all the way around them, which is an indication that a two second push and hold allows you to customize that setting or program one of the features through the secondary display. Now let's step through the individual features that the soft touch buttons bring online. Starting with fork mode, perfect parallelism or fine mode control, and bucket mode, as well as programmable kickouts with a two second push and hold for the tilt, for the upper position, for the lower position, auxiliary flow control with a two second push and hold through the secondary display, reversing fan, standard mode, which has the machine running at a max RPM of 1600 revolutions, or power mode, which boosts the power and runs at a full 1800 revolutions per minute, throttle lock, optional quick steer, test modes, 
ride control on, auto, or service mode. Rim pull control with the two second push and hold allows us through the secondary display to adjust the torque of our tires up or down to meet the underfoot conditions and minimize tire spin. Range one, fully adjustable creeper speed, and range two, three, and four to match your individual application requirements. Now let's have a look at the power modes available to us in the M-Series small wheel loader. Now as standard, with no lights on the power mode button, we are gonna be running at 1600 revolutions per minute max with no compromise in overall ground speed. We can easily achieve 25 miles per hour run out or 40 kilometers per hour run out. Now, if you wanna truly unleash the full power of the new CAT C7.1, we can toggle to HP+. The light will come on, we'll get an indication on the banner, as well as an HP Plus icon to let us know we're running in a power boosted state. Now with HP Plus performance or power mode enabled, we are gonna be running at maximum power in all four speed ranges, and we're gonna bump the power up to a full 1800 revolutions per minute, which is great for really aggressive type applications but I would recommend that standard setting for the majority of applications where you can enjoy an improved fuel savings relative to our K-Series of about 5% with no compromise in performance. With the adjustability of the column, the seat mounted controls in the seat, we're gonna make you comfortable all day long. With the well laid out controls, we're gonna make your work easy. And with the customization through the secondary display, you're gonna be able to set this machine up for your individual application or personal preferences. The M-Series Small Wielders have been packed with features to help you and your business be successful. For more information, please contact your cat dealer. Now let's go to work.